Okay. Can we move back in? Well, if you look just ahead of our boat to the left, you'll see a rock that sticks out from the island a bit. Then if you look about 60 yards farther, you'll see another one that looks just like it. Well, they are the same size and shape, two of the same markings, and even the trees seem to be growing in the same spot. Well, we call these the twin sisters. The first one we call Kate, and then the second one, Duplicate. Well, we are now entering into the Narrows. And if we would have came to this area before the Kilborn Dam was put up, it would have looked a lot different. Well, this area was filled with whirlpools, eddies, and whitewater rapids, making it very dangerous for the raftsmen to travel through. But possibly the most dangerous part is coming just ahead of our boat. It looks as if the river ends, well, it's actually a sharp 90 degree turn called the Devil's Elbow. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs! Now many raftsmen did lose logs, lives, and rafts on this turn. Oh my gosh, it's getting really wavy. by the name of Leroy Gates claimed to have never lost even a single log. But unfortunately, Leroy did lose his job when the railroads came through. So he started his very first Dell's boat tours. Now you'd go down to the dock, hand Leroy two quarters, and then in exchange he would hand you two paddles. That's right, you would have to row your way up the Wisconsin River while Leroy sat in the shade of his umbrella drinking a nice cold lemonade and talking about the river for up to six hours long. We like to think that today's tours are just a bit more accommodating. And Leroy did leave a message behind for us. If you look just off to our left, he left an inscription in that rock. Now, it's a bit wondered and hard to read. But it says, Leroy Gates, Dell's Riverboat Pilot, 1848-59. And by the way, while no one's talking, if you find Webkin's Go Vacations boring, let me know. If you find them interesting, let me know. Two. There's another boat of family. Family boat. It's really pretty this way. Filming a lot of the rocks. Well, I know it kind of looks weird on camera, but you wonder actually that it's really cool. The rocks, sir. These were all carved by Glacier Meltdown. By the way. I think this is our first one. Well, if you look off to our left, you'll see our meeting up with the old riverbed once again. But that also means the end of Blackhawk's 210-acre island. Just ahead of us to our right, you'll be looking for a black slab of rock leaning against the mainland. Now this is known as the Giant Shield, and it is a bit of a high water marker here in the Upper Dell. Now in 1993, the water reached to the top of that shield. 
Then in 1938, it was four feet above it. of wildlife in our river. We have fish in the water and birds in the sky. But a lot of people are surprised to hear that we have an alligator. That's right. If you look just ahead of us to our left, you'll find Allie the alligator lying out on her rock. Now her jaw is open and that broken rock will make the bottom of her jaw. Allie the alligator coming right along our left hand side. You know, as we get a little closer, it doesn't really look like an alligator. It looks more like a rockadile. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm from Wisconsin, so my jokes can be a bit cheesy. Ha ha ha. Ha. Cheesy land of the cheese, woohoo. Look off to the right, there's a, what looks like a baby seal about emptying above the water, stuff between two shells and rocks. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Going fast. Well, in just a few short minutes, we'll be up to our next point of interest at Steamboat Rock. So I'll be coming around the boat, seeing if you guys have any questions. Alrighty, we'll check back in later. Bye. <laughs> Mike, check.